All right, fig lovers, this is Ross the Fig Boss. In today's video, I wanna talk about my winter protection method and how the fig trees fared this past winter time with that method. If you're not familiar with my winter protection method, it's basically the bend and cover method, where if we have branches coming up from the soil line called suckers, we bend those over really close to the soil so they lay flat on the ground. We pin them down with stakes and also stones and, and rocks. And then we cover these branches with piles of wood chips or other insulative materials that you guys might think of. There's blankets, concrete blankets, moving blankets. You can use housing insulation. You can use a bale of straw. There's so many different things you guys can use. And so I just got an easy wood chip delivery here with chip drop put all the wood chips, uh, wheelbarrowed them out over here, bent all the branches down and covered each tree very meticulously, very carefully, and covered all parts of the tree, not just the base of the tree, but all parts of the branch. I made sure that they were covered sufficiently and plentifully with these wood chips. If any parts of the branches are exposed, which can happen, I've noted for a couple of years now actually, um, and they're sticking up out of the wood chips, that's where you'll typically see damage. Now, luckily, I didn't have much of that where the wood chips sank throughout the winter time. Uh, I piled up the wood chips enough to protect the trees really well this year. But I'll say this, um, we didn't really have enough of a winter cold to actually damage the fig trees really anyway. So even though about 99.9% .9 of the fig trees didn't take any damage and the branches look great um, it really wasn't extreme enough this winter time for them to take damage anyway but that's really nice because now i have all these fig trees even in this plot here where they're young i just planted these actually uh, a year or two years ago these trees are now going to start coming into their own we have a base that's healthy for them a nice structure here of the suckers that we bent over and protected we then uh, uncover them, put these stakes in the ground, position all of the trunks of our trees. And then of course they start leafing out the season, they start fruiting, and we have a really nice growing season from that point. Uh, it also makes the trees, by the way, not only are they gonna be able to fruit this year, even at really small and young ages, but they're also going to be able to withstand the winter cold better in future seasons because we were able to protect them for one year that makes them more lignified actually going into the growing seasons of the future. So this is a really nice benefit. Everyone should be protecting their figs in the first year. I think this particular method of winter protection is perfect for anyone in zone 7A. In zone 7B, you may not have to protect your fig trees, just plant really hardy varieties. In zone 6, um, 6B, excuse me, I think the best method is probably wrapping your fig tree. And then in zone 6A, instead of actually bending them over here, you should be growing them along the ground as is, as a Japanese espalier or a low cordon. That way they're already really close to the ground and it makes it very easy to protect them in the winter time. But you also are able to preserve a nice structure so that the tree can respond and regrow from every year to make it easier for your fig tree to fruit every growing season. As I said, by protecting the tips of these branches, not just the entire length of the branch, but really it's the uppermost part of the branches, the apical and lateral buds, the top third of the branches, it makes it easier for the fig trees to fruit. Typically the fig trees will fruit earlier and they're also gonna produce fruit at a higher quality. And so if you're in zone six or even zone five, that's a really nice luxury to have them ripen earlier and also at a higher quality. You want to make sure that you can protect these upper parts of the branches. Unfortunately, the only real way I think to grow fig trees in those zones is to already grow them really low along the ground. Now you can try this method. Uh, I hope some of you guys did try it. And if you did, please let me know what your results are in the comments. If you bend over the branches and you're able to fully protect all parts of the branch, well then you're gonna be really successful in zone five and zone six. But it's gonna be difficult. A lot of growers in I think zone five, they grow a really hardy variety and then they plant the variety um, in the ground and then they of course chop it back to six to 12 inches. This is what I had used in the past called the cut and cover method. But this is very extreme and it actually makes our fig trees uh, less fruitful and more difficult to get them to fruit 
and also is going to have a, a crop that ripens later in the season. And so if you're one of those people, unfortunately, that's kind of half how you have to grow figs. But you can always, of course, try a different method, see what happens. Maybe you actually get them to survive the winter for one year. If you can do that, then, of course, they're going to be really well lignified going into future seasons and actually be able to withstand the cold that potentially uh, you may never have thought that they could actually survive. And that's the trick with fig trees, guys, um, that I've noted here. You just got to get them through that first season. And then, of course, they can survive zero or even five degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, some of them are, you got to have that really hardy variety, but it, it's really about that level of lignification. And I'm anxious to see if I can get below zero one of these winter seasons, what actually will survive. And I think some of you guys will have a better idea of that in zone sixes. But this could be really valuable information for any of us in zone seven, six, five. And there you go, guys. That is the, uh, the video. There really is no damage on these trees. Wasn't enough of a cold to really damage them to begin with, but we really did protect them well this season just in case. And these young trees really need it just to get them through that first season. But even the older ones, I'll say just quickly, like these prosciutto, this prosciutto tree, black celeste, and also this vagabond, They've been here for an extra growing season and they've actually been able to withstand the winter last year a little bit. They actually fruited a little bit and were able to lignify well enough that I felt comfortable not protecting them at all this season. And it paid off. They didn't, weren't protected. Even if we got a, a stronger cold that came in, I still felt good about their level of lignification, the varieties themselves being hardier varieties. And of course you would see success just take the steps I mentioned here, guys. I thank you for watching this one. Please, if you liked it, hit the subscribe button, hit that like button for me, and check out my blog, figboss.com. See you for the next video. Take care, guys.